Okay. Oh, oh. Anytime. Go ahead and start. Anytime. Okay, we're standing here today at the Oscar Grant Plaza. As you can see, uh, many of the people here that are still um, outraged from this unjust sentence that we got from Judge Robert Perry with the handing down of a two-year sentence to Johannes Mesley for the murder of Oscar Grant. Um, that he gave him two years with double time served where he served only 11 months. The most important thing about this event today is for us as a community, uh, the Joint Forces would Occupy Oakland and many others, that this racist criminal justice system must be dealt with. Um, as you know, this, we have the biggest prison system in the world. Over 80% of the men incarcerated are black and brown men. And just recently out of Chicago, there were three young men that served 20 years. They went in at the age of 14, 15, served 20 years for a rape case that they did not even commit. I mean, this is the egregious type of times that we see young men, black and brown, get for crimes that they didn't even commit. So we're speaking to that issue. Judge Robert Perry, when he rendered that decision, three days later, Derek Jones, a resident of Oakland, was shot in the back by these rogue Oakland police officers. Again, showing just how important it is for us to continue to stand. For us to come out and demonstrate and speak in a civil manner, peacefully, about the wrongs that we're experiencing in this community needs to be expressed. But the underlying thread to this whole problem is these police officers, when they come in and they bang heads on people that are demonstrating peacefully. Scott Olson suffered uh, at the hands of these police officers when he shouldn't have. He was just expressing, like we all have been expressing, that we need jobs, that we need health care, that we need housing, and that we need school education. I mean, all the, the issues that have been plaguing our community that the 99% is not seen to be entitled to in a just way, we are standing here expressing that. But we're not forgetting about these rogue police officers. What happened on that Tuesday night right here at the Oscar Grant Plaza, uh, uh, Plaza was wrong. And we're here to express how important it is that we address this racist criminal justice system, that we address the issues concerning the um, police officers across the United States, and that we also have a petition that we want many to sign going directly to Eric Holder, the Department of Justice, filing civil rights violations against Johannes Mesley, Tony Peroni, and the other officers on that platform. We cannot forget Tony Peroni used racial epithets, bitch ass nigga, twice before Oscar was killed, laying face down with his hands behind his back. We cannot forget that. We need to continue to speak to those issues and have those officers addressed and incarcerated for the wrongs that they commit. Right. The officer that hit Scott Olson in the head needs to be addressed. That was a wrong. And, and, and I mean, we need to take a look at all these issues and, and, and speak to them and stand here in unison in agreement that this must be done. talk about that, how they throw our babies away at will. Yeah. Right, you know, I mean, here we see young men, especially young men of color, black and brown, a young man named Pierre, I forget his last name, just received 50 years for a crime that he did not commit. You know, again, I mentioned about the three young men that just was released in Chicago, um, charged with rape, did 20 years, and now they get DNA evidence to show that they never ever committed the crime. You know, Judge Robert Perry. Talk about him. Judge Robert Perry, the judge of the Oscar Grant case, was the judge over the Rat Park case. Many of those officers that was involved in that gang unit, the Rat Park case, planted evidence on men of color, black and brown. LA had to spend millions of dollars to pay them gentlemen for the false evidence that was planted on them. I just received a certified letter from an attorney, a federal attorney in Los Angeles who have filed federal charges against Judge Robert Perry for the crimes that he's been committing about a lot allowing men of color to get a just hearing in his courtroom. And specific, uh, let me say and specifically Oscar Grant. 
You know, so we're dealing with an issue that needs to be dealt with by all of us. You know, we're the 99% that's been denied even judicial rights in this criminal justice system, and we're going to continue to speak to that until we see some justice occur. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm, I need to let Mr. Jones, Derek Jones' father, speak because we're having a visual, the family's having a visual for him this Tuesday for the one year anniversary of his death. We cannot forget that when Judge Robert Perry rendered that decision, three days later, Derek Jones was shot in the back. You know, and we felt that he gave the green light to all these officers to shoot and kill and not suffer any impunity for the wrongs that they commit. And so we're here to express the outrage, to express the outrage and how important it is that these issues be addressed. Mr. Jones. Sir, for the camera, your name? My name is Cephas Uncle Bobby Johnson, Oscar Grant's uncle. Stay home. Stay home. Oh, yeah. Stay home. I'm Frank Jones, as you know. Derek uh, Jones, I appreciate uh, the time to just say these words that uh, need to be said. This is a bad time uh, of the year in reference to coming to a close of this year. As you know, my son was murdered uh, uh, yeah. November on the 8th. And it's getting closer and closer. We have, at the end of this year, there are birthdays that are coming up. My wife just had us have a daughter coming up next month with her birthday. I had one in September. At one time, these were good times. There are no more good times. Holidays, no more good times. Derek was here last year. He was a young man that served well. What happened to him was unbelievable. This justice system is failing, it has failed, and, and we have to step up and correct things that are, are continually happening. Over and over and over, this city is showing what it's about. Murder. Murder in the sense of it leads all cities. And it will continue. The people that have been selected and put in places are failed. From the top all the way down. So we just want to thank you for doing what you're doing. And it's not ending. It's the beginning. This is the beginning. That's right. This is the beginning. And it's going to continue to get bigger and bigger until the eyes are open. They're closed now. So we, we're going to continue. Thank you. Amen. Stop now. A good friend you are sentencing. You are sentencing our youth to death. Every time you say to them that someone who is a power figure in their community can kill young black and Latino youth or young black men or Latino men, what you have said to these youth who look up to these police officers as being their role models is that it is okay for them to kill black and Latino men. That's, right. That's what you have said to them. That is the precedent you are setting for our children. And essentially what you have done is sentence us to death at our own hands because what you have done is say it's okay. It is time for it to stop. And it needed to start at the top. Gene Kwan, we need you out of office. We need you people to understand that we need to be able to get these police officers who are not doing their jobs 
off the street. We need to get these police officers who are killing our youth off the streets. We need to get the whole mentality in the state of California that says it's okay Say to that. shoot black and brown Say people that. and get away with it out of our country. Say we that. need it done and we need it done now. And we need to start now. Right now. now. Right it starts now. today. Right it now. starts right today. Right now. It is time. Right you now. stop killing our black men. You stop killing our Latino men. That's it. The end. That's it. The end. Yeah. Right Amen. now. What's your name, sir? I'm Dr. Terrence Candell. Spell it for us, please. T E R E N C E C A N D E L L. Are you affiliated with the church? We will fight this. I am not affiliated with the church. Why does everybody say that? As I want to. <laughs> you know what? I'm affiliated with all the churches. But what more importantly, I ran for mayor here in the last election, and I told you then that Gene Kwan was incompetent, but you didn't listen. But now here we are again, aren't we? And we're now doing it again. And we're recalling her, and we're now what we're saying is we stand in solidarity with Uncle Bobby, yes. so that we can yes. get justice, yes. so that we can get justice for Derrick Jones. I spoke to that as well, and I will continue to speak to both issues because guess what? They're not isolated. That's right. It's right. happening all the time, right. and it's happened more since Meserly got off That's with right. not even a slap on oh, the wrist. Right. Meserly is a murderer, yes. and I say it to you, and I hope you're watching. Yes. You are a murderer, yes. a murderer, and you need to be on death row. That's right. Is there a way for you guys? Is there a partnership being created with Occupy, or is this completely separate? I mean, I, there are certain some uh, issues that are intersecting. I would Excellent. Think, right? I, I think that. Occupy Oakland yeah. is another way of representing some of the atrocities that are going on, That's not right. just here in the country, Around but the here in the city of Oakland as well. Right. The city of Oakland's issues need to be at the forefront right now, because guess what? That's where we are. And what's happening here in the city of Oakland is we've been disenfranchised, we've been gentrified, taken out of this city. Some 36,000 of us have been gentrified out of our homes here in the city of Oakland. And, and the city of Oakland has done nothing about it. We've got these ludicrous minstrel show individuals out, out here on the city council who do not care about the community. They're not in touch with the community. And the only thing they care about is a camera opportunity. That's the only thing they care about. We've been serving in this community for years, 30, 40 years in this community, serving, sending our children to college, telling all of the good things that have been happening about Oakland. But here, they don't even care. They want to have you dance. They want to have our kids get on stage and dance and do some drumming and try to make you think that that's what Oakland is all about. No, we are excellent here in the city of Oakland. We are scholars here in the city of Oakland. We are political here in the city of Oakland. And guess what? We are black brown, white, mm. green, yeah. blue, whatever color you want to think. But we are standing together here in the city of Oakland and we will not allow this atrocity to continue. That's right. It's over with.